I know what you did last December. Chapter 1. A Known Stalker. Enjoy reading everyone. Have a nice day. I am walking down the early street when my phone suddenly rings. It's an unknown number. Hello? Nice to meet you again. Meredith? Who, who are you? I'm your shadow. Watching every move you make. You're crazy. I continued to walk and didn't mind the crazy color. But my phone received a text message. I know what you did last December. <laughs> you are crazy. Stop bothering me. I will block you. I blocked the number with my hand shaking. I better hurry home. Who is she? Could it be? No, she's dead. It's just a prank, I guess. I thought that it was a prank, but I received another text again from a different number. You are living comfortably, huh? You should die. Traitor. Who are you? Talk to me in person. Crazy psycho. That's a... Uh, you forget me. You can't hide from me. <laughs> Psycho. I blocked the stalker's number again, but she continued to bother me even at work. I can tell by her voice that she's a girl. Then my phone rang. Thank you for calling. What can I do for you? <laughs> it's you again. Stop bothering me. What a nice job, huh? You don't deserve it. I look around, but see no one. She even knows what I'm doing. And you don't deserve my time. You are crazy. You can't escape, Meredith. I went to the police station, asking for help. But they closed my case, saying, that it's just a prank from someone. I have no choice but to ask for help from my dad. Although I'm not his legitimate daughter, I know that he loves me so much. Toot toot toot. It's dad. How are you, Meredith? I'm not fine, dad. Don't worry, my daughter. I heard a private detective for this case of yours. Thank you, dad. But I think private detective is expensive. Nope, it's not. If it's for you, we must teach that stalker a lesson. Thank you, Dad. I was surprised. My dad really loves me. I feel secure and safe now. Don't worry anymore. Detective Jones will call you later. Yes, Dad. Thank you so much for your help. I love you, Meredith, and you know that. I'm always here for you. I love you too, Daddy. Now, I feel safe and reassured, waiting for Detective Jones to contact me. Hello? Is this Meredith Hopkins? Yes, it's me. And you are? I am Detective Greg Jones. Or you can call me Detective Jones. I'm the one in charge of your case. Okay, thank you, Detective Jones. I'll come into your house tomorrow. I will add a tracking device on your telephone and other gadgets. Thank you very much, Detective. It will help me a lot. No problem. It's my job. The tracking device has finally been installed and I feel at ease. I'm busy working when my colleague told me that I had a phone call. Someone is looking for me and I thought that it was my mom. Hello, mom. Then I hear a screeching sound. Mom? And another deep breath. Are you okay, mom? 
Tom, it's you again. She's bothering me again. There's no tracking device in my company. She can call me anytime she wants without being trapped. I told you that you can't escape from me. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? And I hear a heavy breath. Surrender and expose what you did last December. I feel shivers run down my spine. How could it be? No one knows except me. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You should be the one being trapped, not me. She knows the tracking device too? Who is she? My brain will burst out from thinking. Stop bothering me. I don't know who you are. You know me very well. I will not give you rest, Meredith. Stop it. I don't know you and that nonsense you're talking about. Sure thing. Keep on denying. I'll make sure that you won't forget everything. Tom Psycho. <laughs> You're bullshit. I end the call and almost drop the telephone forcefully. Everyone looks at me with a question. I quickly call Detective Jones. Yes, Meredith? Detective, the stalker called me again. That's good. I'll check her location. You can. She calls me in my company. Damn, she's clever. But don't worry. I will request to install a tracking device in your company too. Let's explain to them about your situation. And hopefully, they will help you. Thank you, Detective Jones. I'm hoping that my company will help me because I don't know what to do. I sound desperate. I did not able to control myself from crying. Calm down, Meredith. I will do everything I can to catch the stalker. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Your life will come back to normal again. I promise you that. Thank you, Detective. Where are you now? I'm still here at my company. Wait for me. I will pick you up. Huh? I'm surprised. Picking me, I guess, is out of his job. I suddenly feel something that I can explain. Haha, I said I will pick you up. But, but I don't, I don't want to bother you, Detective Jones. No need to pick me. I can manage. Yeah, you can manage to cry. But seriously, wait for me, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. It's awkward, but the, detec but the detective's presence gives me reassurance and protection. I'm right here at the waiting shed when Detective Jones texted. Toot, toot, toot. I will be late, Meredith. There's an accident on the road. I will try to find another way. It's okay, Detective. I'm right here at the waiting shed. My phone rang after the text and I thought that it was Sergeant Greg. But my face turned pale when I read the name of the caller. Patricia calling. Am I dreaming? I accepted the call with a shaking hand. I want to know if it's a prank or real. He Hello? How are you, my friend? I almost dropped my phone when I heard her voice. She's still alive. How come? Surprised? <laughs> You're not real. Stop bothering me, stalker. Traitor friend, you will die soon. Stop bothering me. Ah! Be very afraid, my friend. I will kill you. I throw away my phone. I'm breaking down. This is not real. She is not real. And that's the end of our chapter 1. Please stay tuned for chapter 2. Thank you for reading and listening. Have a nice day everyone.